Okay. So when I'm back down south, and this is what I this is where I consider home. I consider you know anywhere below the Mason Dixon line home. Uh, but I also have another home, uh, and that's uh, in Egypt. Uh, it's a place that helped raise me, and uh, I don't think I would be the person that I am without it. And I feel like. Um, when I was there, I recognized that you could love two completely separate groups of people who do not love each other. And they both love you in very radical ways. Um, and they are so capable of showing it to you that they can't understand the whole of who you are because they negate a part of where you come from. Um, and so this poem is kind of, this is for Egypt and, and Syria and, and everything that's going on uh, in the Middle East right now. Um, yeah, I just, it's always heavy on my heart. So this poem is called American Idolatry. When a people love you deep in their poverty, when they patiently flow you back out to sea, even though your tongue, like a dumb whale, continues to beach itself upon the shores of their consonants, when they feed you from their own table, when they literally slaughter the fatted calf and dance over you, butchering the meat in the street outside your door, letting the blood stain the street cat's bite. When they take a bit of Egyptian gold and hammer it flat, the calligrapher prints your name in Arabic script. When they wade in the Nile and cook catfish or drive around in a jeep trying to find the last box of Betty Crocker because you missed the South. When they offer you their most handsome son, the one with the eyelashes that curl at the ends like an old carpet, when they give you free beer and free Moroccan hash as much as their lungs can stand, then laugh with you afterwards when they send their wives to snatch the mint leaves growing on the roof between the windows of drying jalapias, of course. Of course, you tell them. People who eat swine are dirty, even though your people were slaves and the pigs kept them alive. Even though you still cook collard greens with ham hocks for grandma's sake. Of course, you don't tell them that in Paris you paid seven euros for a salami sandwich and couldn't fill your mouth fast enough. Of course, you tell them that September 11th was a conspiracy. Of course, you tell them that, of course you don't tell them that you didn't see the jets break the sound barrier, that you didn't see the Pentagon burning through your front yard, that you didn't recite the 23rd song to calm a class full of quaking fourth graders. Of course, you tell them teeth slick with pumice, that your country is evil, evil, evil. Of course, you don't tell them that the military paid for your father's education, that that was the only way out of Pittsburgh, a place that would have raped him had not been so Damn near choking on the tears of the 
Are you still there? 